Well, we're in December here. We're uh, getting ready to head across to Old Bahama Bay. We're gonna do some high-speed wahoo fishing, see if we can't go catch a couple of ocean zebras and see what happens. We'll be staying at Old Bahama Bay and running up to the north, heading up along the edge, working our way on and off the edge from about 175 feet on out to about 400, 500 feet and back and forth. We're getting loaded up and we're gonna head across to West End, Grand Bahama. We're trying to prep the brand new Ingles coolers over here. They come with freezer bags, a nice bait tray. The idea is to keep this thing made of metal, nice and cold. So when Manny rigs his mighty fine baits, they stay frozen. But it's like a block of ice in here, and that thing will be cold and like a block of ice for at least four or five days. Crimps, snap swivels. We need about 400 pound mono, a couple dozen ballyhoo. His baits are good to go. Right. We're heading to West End, going to memory. Hopefully, maybe up to the corner. We'll see if uh, Joey's wallet is fat as his head. We're gonna catch some wahoo, man, for sure. Uh, they're biting, got some good reports. Should be on. We'll see what we can do. Get some deep dropping in. You know how loose cannon does it. It's a fish magnet. His wallet's as big as his head. That's some funny stuff, man. I don't care who you are, that's funny. <laughs> we got some new wahoo lures that I put together. Uh, bought all the stuff for Fisherman Center, and uh, it's looking good, man. We got this one. The iridescent colors have been working real well over there. A lot of reports on the iridescent colors, and that's a pretty, that's a babe, man. That's going to catch them up for sure. Merry Christmas, Blue Scan, and see you on the next week. That's a Roger Roger. We will see you next week. Thank you. We gone. Go, go, go. Lock it in, lock it in. Go, 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 go. A shark right there. Get it up, get it up, get it up. There we go. A whale shark right here. Over here in the Bahamas, you never know what you're going to see. There's nothing organized about it. It's just straight chaos. There's no teamwork around here. There you go, jumping right here. Frigate's coming in. Go, 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 go. This is Tuna City right here. They're within 100 feet of the boat. Oh my god, it's smoking. That's a big tuna. Whoa! Oh! This is a freaking circus. <laughs> over, under, under, over, over, under. Look out! Oh! This is what we're out here for. This is this is what we do. Loose Cannons is brought to you by Angle Coolers, more than just a cooler company. Conley Fishing, the number one source for serious fishing equipment. Dolphin Electrial, the power choice for serious fishing. And by Old Bahama Bay Resort and Yacht Harbor, West End Grand Bahama Island. Why are you coming on so strong? It's so early. I just got up. Give me a break. We're gonna go out here, we're gonna go over there, we're gonna back that way, we're gonna catch some fish. It appears ISIS is in the Bahamas. That is their mothership. You know, we're targeting one of the fastest fish in the ocean. It's the striped fish of the ocean, people call it the zebra, I call it the the Wahoo, it's one of the fastest fish in the ocean. You control 17 knots, 20 knots, and they have no problem hitting it. It's just gonna hit it that much harder because they're gonna be, you know, those fish swim 60, 70 miles an hour. There's no turning back. When they hit that pole, it's game on. Target species. This is the guy we're looking for right here. The man in the striped suit. Nice job, Manny. Way to get us started. We had another nice one a few minutes ago. Look at the colors on that fish. Beautiful specimen. Wahoo, fresh out of the waters of the Bahamas. Right here off of Freeport between 
Lakaya and West End. Fishing out of Old Bahama Bay this trip. And target species acquired. Wahoo, the other white meat. And this mission has been accomplished. There's a Wahoo in the boat. Loose Cannons is brought to you by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear. There are some laws, some federal laws, some Bahamian laws on how far you can be from a ship, whether it be a container ship, an oil ship, a cruise ship, any kind of ship. You know, sometimes you just gotta flex the laws a little bit to accommodate your fishing habits. Now I got the crew busting my chops about how far I am that affects my radios off in case somebody's trying to get a hold of me. But I figure if they were that close, they can just shoot a flare. But that's where all the fish hang out. Oh, got a double, double. Oh, two hoops, two hoops. Third one, tripled up. Third one, we got three on. Two on, right? Two on, right? Two on, right? So this morning we went out and uh, we decided to do some wahoo trolling. Um, we decided to slow it down a little bit from the high speed, so we threw out some ballyhoo. Hit a couple little spots where we know the, the bait congregates on an outgoing tide. And sure enough, I mean, we had one just whack the pole, got all excited. One guy starts reeling it in before you know it. You got another one snapping out of the outrigger. I'm trying to slow the boat down a little bit, trying to keep enough pressure on them. And bam, another pole goes. Now I'm trying to drive the boat, hit the throttles, run to the back of the boat, reel in the fish, go back to the throttles, turn the boat. I mean, it was a melee. And I'm coming back. Nice one here. Yeah, I got a good one here. Hold up front. I need help. Hold up. I'm gonna walk this one. Here, here, here. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Get that weight up to the tip so it doesn't Nice fish. Come on, somebody count him. All right. Nice fish. Nice job. Triple header Wahoo there. Three at a time. All right, three at a time, two, two out of three. Nice work, Cappy. And that's the way the loose cannon rolls. Well, it was crazy. We have a small loose cannon screw this time. We've only got Joey, Manny, and myself, and of course, Big Jeff to film. We were trolling by the front of that old freighter here. We hooked three. Joey and I managed to get the two in on the down rods. We had one on the surface there. Triple header Wahoo. Total mayhem, typical loose cannons fashion. We got two nice ones, that makes three target species in the boat. You know, it's really nice when you decide to go somewhere and to, hey, let's go shoot a Wahoo show. And we go out here and we've got Wahoo all over the deck. It's, it's crazy, we got a triple header on at one time and that's what it's all about. So do you know you're a bad mamma jamma when you got a landing pad for a helicopter on the front of your boat. All right, got another good bite here on the 80. Cranking some line out. Let's see if we can get some on them. All right, another nice, pretty much got to confirm this is a Wahoo bite. Joey yeah, was about to call it. Did you hear me? I just came out of my mouth. I think it's time to reel them up. And before I could say up, the line took off. It's coming. Getting close, Joseph.
that's our quad and we're gone. Loose cannons, we gone, we out. We're not the biggest one, but you know what? They all taste good. Four nights Wahoo, that's all we need. I think we're gonna go ahead and call it. We got plenty of meat, we don't like to take too much, so we've got four nice Wahoo. We're gonna try some deep dropping tomorrow and see how that works out for us, so. Loose cannons, Bahamas, taking care of business once again. <laughs> that's the way we roll. Ooh, that's just nasty. He makes it look good. It's not as easy as you think to blow that thing. Yeah, you Yay! Go. Loose Cannons is brought to you by Angle Coolers, the original way to keep adventure on ice. Conley Fishing, the number one source for serious fishing equipment. Dolphin Electrial, the power choice for serious fishing. And by JFB Construction, America's builder. Captain Joey owns the Bahama 41 loose cannons that we go on, and it's a great fishing platform. I mean, the thing flies. It's got three 300s on it, and uh, Joey is, is not scared to put the pedal to the metal with that thing, and it, it moves. It is a great fishing platform and uh, you couldn't ask for a better boat to do what we do as far as tuna fishing and wahoo trolling it's a great bahama boat aptly named bahama 41. it's so funny and so many people ask me how long does it take to get to the bahamas and you know me being a little bit of a smart aleck i always like to say depends who's buying the fuel because if i'm buying y'all better get comfortable <laughs> of course if joey's buying you better hang on So on this trip we went out and uh, we found the honey hole of, of yellow eyes. Every time we dropped it we pulled up a yellow eye and I'm not talking about little small ones, I'm talking about big ones. It's not always about the quantity, it's just a lot about the quality. You, know, you can catch as many fish as you want, but that's not the key. The key is to catch the big ones. That's a good one. We're in a secret spot. Can't tell you exactly where, but we're in a good one. As soon as we dropped it, as soon as it hit the floor, bam, fish on. It's got great bottom, it's got a, got a 20 foot drop, and then it comes back up. That's, that's what we need. It's a perfect, perfect yellow white spot. We're about to see how big they are in about two seconds when he gets this thing up. What you got? Big yellow eye. It's got eyes and a tail, I can guarantee that. That's what we're looking for, yellow eye right. snapper. And that's a good one. Fresh off the bottom, here in the Bahamas. Target species, yellow eye snapper. What a beautiful specimen. Let's go catch 20 more. The yellow eye snapper is some of the best eating the fish. It's real white, it's so tasty, flakes apart, saute it for a little bit. Man, it is delicious. Hard to beat as far as bottom fish go. Super table fare. That's a good one. There it is. That's the one we were looking for. Old Big Louie coming through. We're fishing today with Lou Carroll, who is Jackie Carroll's husband. And Jackie is our girl at Old Bahama Bay who always takes care of us and such a great property. We really enjoy coming to this location. We've promised to take Lou out many times, so he decided to come along with us today and it's been a good help. He's having fun. He's onto a nice yellow eye right now. I love it. Welcome to the Loose Cannon, buddy. You're part of the team now. The Bahamian team member of the Loose Cannon. Great guy, uh, really enjoyed himself. He was able to get a little taste of the loose cannons. We had cracked a few jokes, but he joined right in and great sense of humor. Really enjoyed having him on the boat and uh, having the opportunity to be able to take what we do and, and be able to share it with the locals and, and be able to experience, let them experience the things that we enjoy doing when we come here into their island, fishing their fish. And uh, sometimes they don't have the means to get out where we're going, you know, and it's, it's a great opportunity to be able to share and say thanks by bringing these people out here 
and uh, Lou is a perfect example of that. And uh, you know, hopefully, he'll remember this for the rest of his life. Old big Louie coming through, coming through with the big dog. It's that big. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Well uh, done. It's fortunate for him that that all he's got to do is push the button, and I'll put him on the fish. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh yeah, you yeah. got him that time. I will tell you this, All right, even though this is a one pole, five man team, and it's not real exciting except for pushing a button and got you, baby. seeing what happens, Man, he's got a it double. is the funniest fishing you've ever seen. Hey. Hey. with the first double of the day. Yeah, I'm the only sane one on the boat, I think. <laughs> oh! like yellow eye to me. This will call him up. <laughs> Loose Cannons is brought to you by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear. Tuppence, your complete boating and fishing headquarters. And by Finor, legendary tackle since 1933. Welcome back to Loose Cannons. We found a, a deeper hole here, and we're going to pound it and see if we can't fill the box. <laughs> Come on, let's go. we got to fill the box. So we got a nice little tight hole right here. I hope this hole isn't worn out from everybody pounding it. No, you'll be fine. This, this, is a, this is a fresh hole. Nobody's pounded this one yet. And it's tight, so you should find some good stuff in there. If you go too fast, you go right by it never see it. So we go nice and slow so it picks up the dimension. There it is. Oh, yeah. Now you got them. Right. Now you got two of them. There he comes. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. Oh. Got one set up on him and I dropped it back down, even though the rule of thumb on this hole is we're only getting one at a time. I'm the only one that's uh, able to get two up, so I'm going for the, the double play on the double play. He sucks. That's Manny. He's all about the base. No trouble. It's all about the base. About the base. No trouble. <laughs> Looks like you got a little bit of bend to that pole there, Manny. Two. Dos. You got a dos. A nice one. Nice job, Manny. Catches another double. Gotta love it. We're filling that box, having a great time here in the Bahamas. Almost Christmas. If you look in that fish box, it is Christmas in the fish box. Loaded up with beautiful yellow eye snapper. Gotta love it. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Oh, here's a good one, Joe. Thank you. You know, I do what yeah. I can do. Look at the colors on that one. What a beautiful fish. You got it? Look at that. Gotta love that. It never gets old. You never know what you're going to catch on the deep drop, but when you find a spot, it's loaded up with yellow eyes, beautiful yeah. yellow eyes like this. That's you want a beauty. To stay on that spot. We're right in the right location because we've gone about three quarters of a mile in any which direction and have landed literally in a pile of yellow eye. So there's got to be thousands of them down there. These fish are beautiful. Look at the markings on this thing. Just gorgeous. Great color, come up out of the deep, the cold water, dark water. And these things are good. In two hours, we caught about 60 pounds of scaled fish, which is our limit. If everybody follows those rules, there'll be plenty of fish for next generation. <laughs> Add another one to the list. Manny, take notes. Oh, 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 that might be the big one. Ah, let me tell you something. It's funny, all the fish that we catch on this boat, a lot of them being bigger fish, and the poles not necessarily being set up for that, but I'll tell you what, those poles take a beating. Probably more than what the manufacturer recommends by the specs, but they hold up. I mean, those things have caught a lot of fish. This one's taking a beating with a 12 pound weight on the end of it, and I mean, it brings up fish. I might have two on there. 
So you gotta double up on the double up. Tell him. Tell him, cameraman. <laughs> you gotta double up on the double up. Not only has our good friend Lou Carroll taken the title, but it's with two bruiser specimens fresh off the bottom. Hey, that's great, eh? That's maybe the biggest yellow I ever caught. Right there. There's no use for this hole anymore. Yeah, we pretty much worked this hole right over. Yeah, it's not gonna be good for anybody after this. No, we spanked this hole. We gotta find a new hole to yeah. spank. We poked this hole all we could. That's a wrap. After all my years of searching, after all my hard work, I finally busted the method I learned. The Angle High Performance Cooler. It's incredible. Just look at this lid. What a powerhouse. It's so freaking strong, so reliable. I just want to boom. Oh, man. Unbelievable. This silicone gasket's better than rubber. Take that, Yeti. You want more? Huh? <laughs> Why, hello there. Are your base and sidewalls way thicker for superior insulation? Oh yeah, you bet they are. And there's so much more! The easier to open drain plug, the marine grade latches, the all-around textured surfaces, plus no more vacuum stuck lids, superior scratch protection, and better performance in direct sunlight. Ah oh, yes, after 10 days, still cold, still fresh, let's hear Yeti do that. With angle coolers, it's official. The Yeti is busted.